Hi, let's talk about the draw tool and how you can use it to compose basic shapes in Studio. So draw tool uh, is over here in the create menu. If I mouse over to the left, I'll see this tool labeled draw. And if I click on it, then uh, under my cursor is a point. Now I can just start to place points wherever I want to. And this is great for just freeform drawing. Like for example, I'm just making a set of mountains and they're very pointy. Now that I have my draw shape, I just wanted to point out uh, another nice thing about draw shapes is that you can select the whole shape, but you can also select parts of the shape. So you can select a segment, you can select a point, you can select multiple segments and multiple points, and this just lets you edit to your heart's content. If I wanted to draw something that was a little bit more precise, like let's say I want to make this custom L bracket out of brass for a cabinet I'm working on. Uh, I might have some measurements and I want to potentially type those in. Uh, draw tool actually lets you do that. So if we create uh, an L bracket shape with draw, uh, I'm just going to rough this in. You'll notice that there are some dimensions, but we're actually going to adjust those later. I've finished my draw shape and what I can do is I can Click on any one segment. I have this selected, and you, you'll see on the right side here, there's a length parameter and rotation. Uh, and what I can do is I can adjust that length to be what I've written down. And once I've done that, I can move any other points to be in line with that new side of the shape. So I'll just quickly do that around our shape. As I do that, notice that the line segments that I'm selecting have two different end styles on them. There's a filled blue square, there's a open uh, circle on the other end, and that's the fixed and the free end. So that lets you know which end is gonna move when you change the length. And if you just keep clicking on the segment again, it'll flip which one is which. So that's just to help you make sure you're adjusting the shape in the direction you want to. So in this case, I'm going to also set this to a different length and move this line over. And I'll do this again for all these different segments that I have dimensioned on my drawing over here. And there we have it, our dimensioned bracket. That was not too difficult, but there's actually a slightly easier way to do it, which is to use a grid, because this L bracket is a very orthogonal or rectangular shape. So if in my design mode menu, I turn on my position features and have a grid and set it to, in this case, I want increments of a quarter inch. Then now when I use the draw tool, I can start drawing and now I can pay attention to that dimension. Uh, and because I'm snapping to the grid, I can easily put it at my dimensions that are all at increments of a quarter inch. So now I'm creating the right size bracket without really thinking about it. So there you go. That's three ways to make shapes in Draw Tool in Studio.